everyone welcome back to our channel yes guys and uh, we really appreciate you thank you so much and um, for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we do not take you for granted and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys you guys are simply the best and we appreciate you yes guys and we're here again with more updates regarding the edo state governorship election more updates we've been getting loads of updates as as the day and um, draw near it's just uh, about two weeks two weeks plus um to go to the governorship election 15 days um, to go right now the news we're getting is that um, a group has uh, um, called out on INEC for um, the redeployment of a REC, the resident electorate uh, uh, um, commissioner to Edo State ahead of the governorship election as something that negates um, their, their core values. We know recently that there's been a controversy in the uh, redeployment of the resident electoral commissioner, the person of Mr. Johnson, Alalibo, um, to Edo State, because he has had um, a lot of uh, um, exposures, a lot of uh, 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 involvement um, with um, politics, even coming out as an aspirant in Bayelsa State. Anyways, guys, um, we'll bring you more details in a moment, but before we do, Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, guys, go ahead and show us some love. Give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button just to let us know you do appreciate um, everything we're doing here. Thank you once again. And please um, don't forget to subscribe as well. Click on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight now into the news and we'll bring you all of the details. Edo Guba, new rec appointment negates INEX core values nebril ahead of the edo state governorship election the independent national electoral commission INEC, has been called upon to take steps to douse apprehension among edo electorate over issues of transparency impartiality and integrity of the electoral umpire to guarantee a free fair and credible election a rights and integrity advocacy group, Network for Best Practice and Integrity in Leadership, Nebril, made this call in a letter to INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, dated September 3rd, 2020, by its chairman, Honorable Afan Ogene. It raised concern over the controversy trailing the recent redeployment of a resident electoral commission and rec. Mr. Johnson Alalibo to Edo State, saying Alalibo has had obvious political exposure, which is evident in his recent participation as an aspirant in governorship election in Bayelsa State on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, a major contender in the forthcoming election. Meanwhile, INEC has urged religious leaders to sensitize their followers to shun any form of violence in Edo State. The resident electoral commissioner rec, Mr. John Alalibu, made a call during a one-day stakeholder sensitization meeting in Benin. He noted that the commission's effort at ensuring free and credible election on September 19 might suffer a setback if religious leaders fail to douse the rising tension. According to him, threats of violence coupled with COVID-19 pandemic in the state can lead to vote apathy in the forthcoming election should religious leaders fail to take the responsibility as relevant stakeholders before, during, and after the election. So yes, my people, the first thing is that we know very well that all INEC has been singing. We know um, their credibility has been at stake because it's been known that um, INEC, they normally manipulate and they normally um, rig and all of that, they get involved. So, but right now, INEC is trying to get the record straight and for some time now they've been stating that um what they are concerned about um, is a free fair and credible election and i don't like um they are stating that they don't actually believe that because if you look very well it looks like INEC um, is actually tilting to the all progressive congress uh um, session because it was alleged that um, even Yakubu Mahmoud, his tenure is going to be running out very soon. It was stated that uh, uh, President Mohamed Buhari promised him that if he does everything to favor APC in this forthcoming Edo governorship election, that um, he might retain his position, he might be coming back again, all of those. But anyway, INEC um, Chairman Professor Mahmoud. Uh, 
uh, um, tried to uh, refute that and um, stated that that was not true. And he kept saying that they are all about free and fair election. And he sent a note out to all the stakeholders, all the INEC officials, stating that um, they should be neutral in the forthcoming election. They should not take sides. But what they've just done that raised controversy again was the redeployment of a REC, a resident electoral um, commissioner to Edo State. And this uh, uh, commissioner was is someone that um, has a lot of political exposure. As a matter of fact, he was even uh, involved in participating in the Bielsa state governorship election under the umbrella of the All Progressive Congress. So if he's coming from, it definitely means that he's got some ties with the All Progressive Congress. That is one of uh, the concerns that this group have raised, that even as INEC is stating that they are going to ensure a free, fair and credible election, they believe that that might suffer a setback, that it's not likely to happen, that free, fair and credible election. And let's know that all of these are linked. If the people find out that this election is not free, is not credible, that might, at the end of the day, lead to violence. And we know a lot of talks have been on, even peace meeting, the Oba of Bini had to step in to call in all the political actors and political gladiators to speak to their uh, supporters and their followers to uh, to appeal to them to not be violent in everything they do. So um, INEC has got a role right now. So them preaching that um, they, are, they are going to ensure a free, fair and uh, credible election and then um, the new wreck that they've posted to like the umpire, the new wreck that have been posted to a those states is someone from the All Progressive Congress. That was the major controversy. So we don't know. We know INEC stated that um, all its officials have to be neutral. They don't need to tilt. So this uh, um, this wreck that is from the All Progressive Congress, we really don't know how that is going to play out um, regarding the Edo State Governorship election. But um, it's been stated that religious leaders still have roles to play and that they have to uh, um, sensitize their members as well so they can shun violence but like i said the only thing that can actually really lead to violence again is when the people find out that um, there are some manipulations going on or some kind of uh, um, games if the election is not credible so the main the the, the the ball itself is in the court of INEC. INEC really has to do the right thing all they've been preaching about that they want to do they have to really uphold all they've said guys let us know what you think and um, share your thoughts with us down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please um if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet give us a thumbs up my people click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again. Bye for now and God bless.